All right, everybody. Uh, it's time once again for the Myth Wits, the show dedicated to all things geek pop culture. Every week, we have industry guests come on and talk about the ever expanding Geekoverse. I am your host, Peter Bryant, joining me this week. And Mike, sorry for the uh, hot intro there. The thing started without me. Mike Kafis. <laughs> Hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Just got in, and my arm's tired. <laughs> my co-host, Jag Ballard. Good evening. And joining us this week, uh, our buddy Gox. He's been on the show before. Welcome back, Gox. Hi. Hey, that, here that, could be a, that could be a TV show, man. Welcome back, Gox. You know, Welcome back. <laughs> Juan Epstein, the Hispanic Jew. Right. <laughs> so we're doing, we are doing the 2017 summer box office draft wrap up. It only seems like half a year ago we started this thing, which uh, mm. is pretty much exactly what it's right. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, um, <laughs> so at any rate, uh, it's it's been forever, so uh, I'm happy to wrap this thing up. Maybe maybe next time we knock a month off this thing or something, dude. I don't know. It's uh it's it's been forever. It's been a lot <laughs> of fun. Been a long one. Yeah, yeah. So uh, I just want to take a check real quick. Is there anyone in the in the chat room there? Anybody watching us? Uh, could just check to make sure our sound is good because this is the first time that we've done this through Facebook Live, and uh, I, I there's a some delay. I'm, on, I'm up on Facebook Live, and there's a little bit of a delay. Well, there should Ooh. be. Yeah, yeah, there is. There's about a 30-second okay. delay or so. But but can you hear both of us? I don't have the sound up, so it wouldn't create a oh, weird yeah, echo. Yeah, 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 that's fine. And there's a little bit of a delay. Well, there should there be. Yeah, yeah, there is. There's, okay, there's, there we go. Hey, hey, we can, <laughs> we can hear back us. Back to the future. Right, yeah. right. All right, so fantastic. Cool All right, good. Hey, it's working. Something new, and it works. How about that? Um, or, or as, as my favorite piece of white trash in the world would say, how about that? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, what a mess she is. All right. So guys, uh, before we go through and do all the reveals and stuff, and, and I have graphics that I'll be showing while we're talking. So, uh, the audience can follow along. Um, what did you guys see this summer that you liked, like that stood out anything this summer that was like, that was fucking awesome or anything like that. Anything like that. I honestly, my favorite, unfucking fortunately, movie. I, I didn't even support my own movies. I saw <laughs> none of the movies I've been on. I saw none of them. I saw, mm -hmm. but but without a doubt, the best thing I did see was, uh, was Guardians Two. That movie yep. struck a chord, and yes. like, if you're like, I mean, not to be like, not to go all fucking Jim Gaffigan about it, but like, if you're like a dad. Like it's like, like it's like especially like it, it's, it, it's like it, it's a good movie, but if you're a dad, it's like it's like they're fucking they're they're not pulling any punches. It fucks with you, but it's it was great. And then actually, one of the movies I did bid on, Baby Driver, I I bought it on Amazon, which I don't think helped my total. So uh, I watched that. <laughs> that, movie, that movie was tremendous was it good yeah it looked good i i that movie is i mean it's super stylized or stylish i don't know how, it's not stylized but it's got like it kind of exudes its own everything's kind of cranked to 11 but man like it, i feel i feel like everybody kills it the driving is tremendous like everything's fucking kevin spacey just eats the scenery like it's real goddamn good i i highly recommend people check that out even though it won't help me for fucking nothing now, but they should have goddamn checked it out back in August. <laughs> Whatever. Right, right. Yeah. Well, um, the, the the budget on that, I mean, they didn't spend a whole lot of. Um, oh, no, it was cheap. They, didn't, they spent almost no. Well, they almost spent nothing on the um, you know, on the on the marketing budget on that movie. Like no, I they, saw some stuff, but not not a lot. A couple of ads here and there, but not much. And I don't think the movie the movie had a pretty stellar cast. I don't know. I mean, like above the line, it must have been a pretty pricey film, but. Edgar Wright, man. Edgar Wright makes great shit. Makes great shit. Um, yeah. I love, I love the whole tri flavored Coronetto trilogy of The World's End, uh, Hot Fuzz, and Shaun of the Dead. Like the guy, yeah. fucking makes he makes movies that are very competent and with a lot of heart, but still super entertaining. 
Okay, cool, cool. Hey, so so Mike, what did you what did you see this summer? I know you're a bit you, you see a lot of movies. What was your favorite movie this this summer out of the draft that you saw? Uh, I'd have to say, to be honest with you, I'd have to say um, Spider Man Three. I think oh, it was so good. It was so that really was good. that was really good. I, I miss I mispredicted. I honestly thought that uh, uh, what do you call it? Um, yeah, uh, what did I take? I took um, the my big one. Guardians. Yeah, Guardians I thought the big Guardians. Movie. I thought the Guardians was gonna take uh, the cake, and it didn't. It was Spider Man. Oh, dude, wait a minute. No, uh, um, that's not true. Guardians, no, Guardians beat took, Guardians beat Spider Man. I think it means in his opinion. Oh, in your opinion. Oh, yeah. did, oh, did you think? Oh, you thought Guardians was gonna be a better movie? Because um, yeah, Spider Man. Because well, yeah, Guardians made more money. Did it? Yes. Yeah. yeah. That's surprising. Uh, by like 60 mil, not by a ton. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. but still, 60 mil, I'll take it. I'll take 10 yeah. Hey, I'll I take 1% of that. And I mean, it's going to be splitting hairs. I mean, I can't. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, Guardians, oh, Spider-Man 2. All right, Jack, what would you think? Anything? You see anything this summer? <clears throat> the only movie I saw this summer was Guardians 2. Yeah. Um, and uh, I loved it. I loved the first one. I really like that. Of all the Marvel movies, that's my favorite series, the Guardians. And that's the one I thought I was going to like the least. As mm-hmm. a kid, I only those are the ones that I only saw the comic books like once right. or twice, and I was like a tree and a raccoon. Get the fuck out of here! Oh, oh, right, yeah. it was a yeah. tremendous, it was a huge but, right. gamble. It was a huge yeah. gamble. Right. Fantastic. That I should have worked. Saw, it doesn't count as a summer movie, um, but I saw last weekend uh, the Kingsman two, the second. Yeah, Kingsman. Uh, how was that? I saw one. It's how, great. How was it? If you like the if you oh. like the first one, you'll like the second one. It's pretty okay. much the same stuff. It's it's if you if you like the show Archer. It really reminds me of Archer. Like they're really taking this like comedic kind of thing on it. Like we laughed more than we gasped at the action. Do you know what I mean? And the action is the the movie starts and seven seconds into it, it's action. Like there's no waste. There's no nothing. The movie starts. You take a breath and it's on. And uh, and it's really good. The action's really good. The story's ridiculous. The story is completely you know it's it's over the top, comic booky, cartoonish. But it's yeah. really funny and it's really good. I, I I love that series. I think they're great. And I'm, Elton John is in it, and he's amazing. Hmm. Stellar performance from Elton John. Wow. Elton I'm, John was he fabulous? Is is he is hilarious. Elton <laughs> they go to Elton John for comic relief a number of times, and it is amazing. I'm wow. super glad. Best part of the movie because you're the second person, you're the second friend to tell me it's good because it is getting panned by the critics like it's getting really high i don't know i haven't seen it yet but like it's getting like the first one i think got like a 78 percent on rotten tomatoes this one last i checked was it like 52 like it's yeah like they're not the the critics are not digging it but i i loved the first one was like such an unexpected gem yeah and then like i was i i was all in on this second one because you know put fucking c tates and something and sign me up yeah, it's really good. And I mean, look, if you're looking for Bridge Over the River Kwai, if you're looking for some kind of like prestige piece, it's certainly not that. And the plot is ridiculous. The plot straight up is absolutely like, um, uh, like not gonzo fucking porn. You know what I mean? Like, it's not even the plot, like the, plot real- of the last one was absurd. The plot of the last one was, yeah, it was yeah. like everybody get together and then have their cell phones kill each other, but then all the people that we get into our little cabal, we have the ability to turn their neck into exploding rainbows. Like, that was a fucking silly plot. Right. Yeah. But it works. So this one this one has a similar similar theme to it, and it's ridiculous. Like I said, it's like Archer. Like, it's 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 got action, but it's it's more of a comedy, I think. I don't know. Right. Now, you're a Game of Thrones guy, right, Jack? Yes, no? Yes, very much so. Yes. So you knew, who the one, you knew who the one uh, statesman was, right? Um... No, who? The statesman with like the the lasso or the what? It was um the the Red Viper of Dorne. Oh shit! Oh, I like Oberon. Oh shit! I didn't even think of that. You know what? The whole time I was like, wow, this guy really reminds me of Burt Reynolds. And uh, yeah. and now I get it. Holy shit! I still okay. go crazy for that. That's funny. All right. So okay. So not not to we could go on forever, but we got a lot of stuff to go through. So um so. I, I'm gonna say I'm gonna agree with Mike. I thought Spider-Man three was the best, so I'm gonna I'm just gonna go on. Spider-Man three is terrible. No, I'm sorry. 
Uh, I'm so stupid. Not Spider Man 3. <laughs> Don't fucking go on. Do not go on fucking stop, record. Stop. That emo no, fucking right. dancing yeah. Toby sorry. Maguire sorry, Spider sorry. Man is. Cool. My bad. My bad. I spoke Venom. I apologize to the movie gods. No, no. The um, uh, Spider Man James Home. Franco on a hoverboard is not a good film. Right, right. Homecoming. <laughs> Spider Man Homecoming was the best movie of the summer, in my opinion. Um, and it was because it was the Spider Man of comic of when I was a kid. In a com- it, they captured that Spider Man for the first mm-hmm. time ever no one's ever done that before that was fucking not that was balls on i would argue that i would argue that this summer gave us the two best marvel villain two of the best marvel villains we've ever seen in ego the living planet and in uh vulture the vulture might have been the vulture was like the best such a tremendous like conflicted like just 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 and Michael Keaton just fucking eats the scene. Yeah, like he's, oh. he really did. And it's like I almost didn't like. I can't believe that that was Michael Keaton. You know what I mean? And yet it was. So like, that guy, I feel like that guy's whole career has been. He's done a lot, but I feel like it's been drastically underappreciated. Like he's done yeah. some really tremendous work. Like I mean that Birdman. Um, I love Mr. Mom. Like there's <laughs> lots of movies. Oh, multiple dude, I multiplicity. Say Mr. Mom. Yeah, like multiplicity was the was the best man. It was a great movie. <laughs> I like him in the Batman's, the Batman's that he did in the eighties with the. Uh, uh, yeah. uh, I'll give you the Tim Burton like Batman's. I'll give you the Tim Burton Batman's. Yeah, I love right. him in Jackie Brown. He's phenomenal in that. He's barely in <laughs> right. Real quick, real quick, because Pete, you asked me, and I, I just realized I'm looking through this list again, and I saw Wonder Woman and um, uh, where is it? Um, <laughs> Uh, where did it go? Uh, Wonder Woman and the car one. The car one. Cars three. No. Baby driver. No. The Repo Man. Jesus Christ, man! You're fucking killing me. Oh, <laughs> fucking Fast and the Furious. Yes. yes. Okay. I, I, I misplaced it on this list. Where did it go? Who had it's, it? I, it's I, under I, Gogs. I bought it, I bought it early. There I went go. hard in the paint early on that one. Yeah. Yeah. My bad. That that that's it. Uh, okay. The, Fate of the Furious and uh, Wonder Woman. Okay, good. I'm I'm glad you threw the brakes on for that. <laughs> are there any more? Are there any more Fast and Furious movies in the pipe? Or yes, yes. Believe yes. it or not, yes. yes. They're already they filming up, one. They signed up for <laughs> ten. Ten of them. They've ten. Get out of here. Ten. All right. All right. All right. Furious <laughs> ten. So that way, that way, Vin Diesel can go. Yeah, X Men. <laughs> this is stupid. I love Vin Diesel. All right. Okay. Look at all right. Triple X on that one. All right, let's let's go through, let's go through the list. Okay, for people watching this show, for people who are interested, let's let's do the reveal. All right, so I think we all knew it was coming. Uh, you know, hold on, let me let me do this. Let me throw on the image for everybody. There you go. Uh, the winner, first place, was Mike Myler for uh, eight hundred and forty-four million. Uh, second place. Wow, was nobody Mike- saw that coming. No, right. Second <laughs> second place was Mike Kafis at seven hundred and fifty one million. Who I Gogs, thought was gonna win. Yeah, Gogs rolls in at third for six hundred and seventy nine million. So these are all pretty close. Uh, I came in at fourth place at six hundred and thirty seven million. Um, and down at the bottom, <laughs> it's poor Jack. I got thirty seven dollars and forty three cents. <laughs> he got three hundred and seventeen million. Uh, a couple can't of scratch remember. offs, half a bucket <laughs> of chicken. Yeah, so there's right. some lint and some uh, <laughs> some little crumbs. And it yes, I got and it just sucks because if you look if you look at the stats, I mean it's like one, two, three, four, five, week six. Jack falls to last place and never leaves it. Now he had now to be fair, he had almost all of his movies like kick in somewhere around halfway through summer. So he came in late on almost everything anyway, but he couldn't he just couldn't catch up. Um yeah, the the movie screwed him. Um I think you know, there was there was a lot of turds, a lot of turds this year. Yeah. I got a bunch I got a couple of them. Mike, you got dude, you got three turds. This year, uh, but at, at a very reasonable price per turd, right. though. All right, I got three. I got two turds. Two turds and a winner. All right, so, um, you know, we'll go. We'll go down the list just real quick. Uh, uh, the circle made twenty million. Wonder Woman four hundred eleven. Cars one hundred fifty two. Despicable Me three two hundred sixty two. Actually, no, I'm not gonna read this whole fucking list. Um, let's let's just do the top five. Top five was Wonder Woman. Uh, can, we just, num- can we take a minute and just look at that fucking fucking dummy? 
fucking goddamn like like 86 degree angle jammer that fucking Wonder Woman gave Myler. That movie how yes. can a DC how can a DC mm. movie possibly fucking do that? Especially I, with a mumble mouth like goddamn Gal Gadot. Like I didn't see Wonder Woman. Apparently it's good. It's, it was good. Batman versus good. Superman. And I saw fucking Suicide Squad. Right, right. Oh, it, was, it was their best effort yet. I will put it that way. It has to yeah. be. Yeah. Like, mathematically, it has to be. Like, how <laughs> the fuck? I mean, happen? if that, I put it this way. If that movie was in the DC, I mean, was in the Marvel Universe, it had been like, eh, it was all right. I mean, it wasn't bad. But for DC, you know, on, right. with the DC curve. Right. Like, on the DC, was, right. on the DC scale of things. It was amazing. Good job. Yeah, it's like it's like the fucking. <laughs> it's like when I, it's like you know, like my buddies can fucking sink three pointers and fucking twenty foot putts and everything else. But if I if I if I can bang in a layup or maybe just you know get a five footer and everybody's like, hey, good job. Yeah, That's- exactly. <laughs> right. Hey, look, D- DC. I mean, you know, blind nut, blind blind squirrel finds a nut every once in a while. You know. Well, they, they, Nobody they saw it. that coming though, because they have such a bad track record with so much shit. And let's be honest, but I mean, Wonder Woman kind of had some glimmer of hope before it came out. But there was right. a lot of people chomping at the bit to to just hate that movie. You know right. what I mean? Because it's DC, so right. they I mean, really had to really Cap- had to pull it out. Captain it, Kirk, Captain Kirk made it all better. All right. Mm-hmm. So you saw the movie? Was it? It was good. It, all right, I will say this much. I I thought it was a very good movie right up until there's like a there's there's like no 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 there's like a villain that she fights. I, I don't I'm I don't want to I could spoil it right. We, we make you our can't spoiler spoil rules. Spoil a DC okay, fucking all right, movie. Fine, fine. So she 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 takes on this this one bad guy who you th- who you think is probably going to be the bad guy, um, and she she winds up defeating him. And then, of course, the real bad guy steps out. You know, classic modern movie uh, fucking storytelling. Uh, the, the guy that was, he was one of the heroes. He was one of the good guys, her boss. Turns out he's the real bad guy. Oh, shockeroo, you know, like fucking every goddamn story nowadays. Um, yeah. So anyway, uh, uh, like like in the Kingsman, the first Kingsman, you know the the fucking the, one of the good guys is actually one of the is like the one of the main good guys is like right. the bad yeah, guy, like King really. Bad guy. Yeah. So so anyway, then the um the real bad guy appears and it, and it's the guy that was leading them was telling them to go out there. He's like the head of the fucking UN army or whatever league of nations, whatever the hell it was at the time. And, uh, he shows up and he st- turns like, this armor, he, this armor forms on I him. And he's the fucking tears. Right. Exactly. How yes. Did this make it, that much money. Ex- exactly. The, the, I thought the ending was shitty. The graphics weren't good. They were like kind of half assed. Uh, he's fighting. He's still got this like fucking porn stash, you know, and he's got, he's wielding like a spear. Oh, I was just, I, it was a, I thought the very ending of it was a mess, but everything up to that was really good. It was pretty good storytelling. Um, was there an invisible jet? No, there was not an invisible no. jet. No, I was kind of hoping there. Well, never mind. Anyway, <clears throat> so she's a um, goddess. Where, she's a goddess for God's sakes. The invisible Mount jet Olympus. was a dumb there, fucking idea. There were no idea. invisible jets at Mount Olympus. <laughs> right, it was a dumb fucking idea anyway from the beginning. So, mm-hmm. um, all right. So, so, all right. So then, Guardians of the Galaxy was number two. Now that's no surprise. I mean that that. Could you imagine how hard it would be to do maintenance on an invisible jet? Like, how would you even know where you're going? Like, how you, would you, you have to use invisible that? tools? I don't know. Yeah, uh, where do you get like all the invisible fluids for the hydraulics and everything? Because we can see all the invisible glasses. Then you no. can see the invisible jet. No. I didn't think about that. Like, how do you check the transmission fluid levels? Which in an invisible jet? What you're missing? Right, yeah. No, what you're missing is they have highly trained blind mechanics that work on it. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? That makes that honestly makes it, that, it that makes a lot of sense. That's, that, that, that works. It's kind of like the end of the prestige. Like that right. makes sense to me. Right, right. They there were you blind go. the whole time. Right. <laughs> it's like I can't see the jet. Yeah, I can't either. <laughs> <laughs> just, these jackasses just think they're working on a jet. Like they just think yeah. right. Right. Hey, like, hey, that's how top we, secret it is. Right. <laughs> we like, ah. like, buddy. Hey buddy, how come I never I never see you read the manual? It's like, all up here. <laughs> You're right. right. Like, it's like, like the manual is invisible too. It's right. really hard. <laughs> Like they're walking around the hangar and they're like, why are all these sighted people keep running into this jet? Like, what the fuck is going on? Everybody in the hangar has bandages on their head for the last three days. 
Somebody applies. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And someone's like, "Hey, don't walk there. That's zunk. Oh shit. Yeah. <laughs> the engine's on. Right to the intake. Right. Hey, does anybody oh, hear anything? God. Anybody hear anything funny? Like a whirring zunk. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so, all right, so, uh, uh, blah, blah, blah. Spider Man came in at number three. Uh, Despicable Me three came in at number four, and at number five was Fate of the Furious. Again, how is that in the top five? What a load of horse crap. Anyway, you Don't liked you it know. though, Mike, didn't you? It wasn't bad. It was, it was, uh, you know, car porn is what it was. Dude, I don't know. They they lost me in the commercial when he's like, he's like, why are they shooting at me? I don't know, because you in an orange Lamborghini. I'm like, oh, that's writing. That is choice writing. <laughs> Wait, what movie was that? The Fast and the Furious. He's oh, yeah. oh, my God. Y'all can't. First of all, the seventh. I didn't see the eighth one, even though I bought, even though I bought eighth, it. Okay. This one, The Fate of the Furious. The seventh one is so much fun. Like, it's. Like, yeah. You can't. You can't with physics wizard Dominic Toretto, like a man <laughs> just makes shit happen. Like, like he's got like a uh, like like uh, what's that movie about that that fucking not the babies that were geniuses, but the regular geniuses that were geniuses. Like he's got that level of like genius. That, yeah, like that. He's got like that Rain Man sort of. He must just see the road and be like, well, if I just if I launch off that curb at like fifty eight miles an hour and like I have like a fifteen degree twist, yeah, and I can throw my bumper. Like and bounce it off that building and then impale that fucking yeah. helicopter. He's, he's, no, fucking, he's, he's Neo. Yeah, he sees yeah. the code. And yeah. that would yeah. be a great twist. Like, <laughs> it turns out like he like this whole thing's been in the Matrix and he's just it's a fucking expanded universe. <laughs> right. It could yeah. be. That would make more sense. <laughs> that would well, oh, it was, was the seven. That was the one with the tank. Was that the one in the tank on the highway and the bridge and the this and the, the... seven was six had a plane chase. Seven the part where I knew I was in love with Seven was when The Rock launched a uh, an ambulance off an overpass <laughs> to knock down to knock down a military grade drone out yeah. of the sky, <laughs> and then The Rock came out of the wreckage of this, grabbed the chain gun off of the drone, and then shot down police helicopters. Like that's when I was like, "Sign me up." What are you going for, up. Pete? This could happen. This is based on a true story, right? This Dude, this is nine, this is Sylvester, Sylvester no, this is Arnold Schwarzenegger, 1984, commando level shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, this, this, is, is like, this is this is this is this is this is picking up someone in a telephone booth level. This is right. Yeah, <laughs> you just said you killed me last, Major. I lied. I lied. Right, it's that level. level. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. It, it's their it's their Arnold Schwarzenegger. You know, we, oh, they're we, Marvel. It's yeah. think, about, think about this, fucking Vincent Diesel. As his parents call him, uh, he was. For, what's his total net for the for the summer between Guardians and Fate of the Furious? About a um, bajillion, quadrillion yeah. dollars. Z Zentillion. I mean, did he cover? What he covered? Probably what? Uh, did, did he break six hundred mil just on his two films? Dude, he. I don't know. He probably had to. I mean, I, I mean, so you're talking about the total amount. So if you take three ninety and you add it to uh, two twenty six, yeah, that's five six yeah. sixteen something like that. You're six hundred yeah. and change just for just for one gravelly voiced man. And dude, you know, you know, I, I'm pretty sure he has a piece of fate of the Fu uh, the Furious franchise. I think he. Oh, he, oh, he I think he that. owns <laughs> that. I think that's his franchise. That's going to be the name of the next movie, The Furious Franchise. The Furious <laughs> Franchise. <laughs> I'm telling you, though, like, I am, I love Vin Diesel. I, he can do no wrong. Yes, he, he can. Yes, he, he can. He's a, big, he's a big dork. He loves video games. He has his own yeah. video game company. He loves, he loves role-playing games. He, he does. He's yeah, a yeah, yeah. fucking dork. Right. He's right. worth millions. Yeah. He's built like a great god. Right. Yeah. yeah he's all right. He's all right. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 Got a I, cock like a Louisville slugger. Like he's think, like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> all, right, all right, all right. So let's talk about the, real quick. We'll go down the list of the shitty movies. I saw this one too. Oh my god, number the the, the worst movie. I I bought it and I actually went and saw it. Uh, I was up in uh, I was I was out in L.A. and a friend of mine kind of ditched me for the for the evening. So I was like, ah, oh, fuck, I gotta go see a movie, right? And uh, went over to this theater and they didn't have a whole lot of stuff there that was good at the at that at that particular weekend. I think I'd I'd seen one of the other things. So I was like, I'll see that it comes at night. They say it's 
pretty like weird and scary and whatever. Dude, that was the biggest piece of shit. Don't fucking watch that movie. It has no <laughs> redeeming qualities whatsoever. It is horrible. It's What's horrible. It it comes at night. It's like a po- post-apocalyptic. <laughs> it's a porn. No. Post-apocalyptic <laughs> porn. Oh, oh, we're dude. Out in LA. Dude. We watched the movie. We came at night. Th- Come on, there, tell the truth. There are porns with better storylines in them. This was this was garbage. Yeah. This this movie was it sucked. And the goddamn thing, it they just left the theaters last week, right? Like it has been in the theaters all summer long. Like I don't understand. It, it made nothing. It made fourteen million. But it's what's been the in quick, what's the quick like it's, five right. minutes no, or ninety five minutes. What's the quick synopsis? Two seconds. Po- Thirty post- seconds. Elevator it, pitch. Post apocalyptic uh, plague wipes everybody out. There's only a few people left, um, uh, and then someone breaks into their house and it winds up infecting all them. Everybody dies. Um, father Happy has to ending. Sh- father has to shoot the son and the wife, and then shoots uh, himself. And yeah, it's uh, great. Yeah, fantastic. Real feel good movie of the summer. Uh, like the mist. And it, it, yeah, it was it was as fucked up as the mist, but the mist at least had some cool shit in it. This had no cool shit in it. Um, <laughs> all right, oh. so. What? There you go. It could have been The Mist without cool shit. Yeah, The Mist with less cool shit. All right. So then Rough Night was number 24. Mike, that's a good one for you. Uh, I saw that coming, though. That looked like crap. Uh, the Circle, uh, that was number 23. Number 22 was King Arthur. You remember, yeah. you remember how fucking jacked up Mike was to get The Circle? I know he fucking won. But yeah. He was like a Tom Hanks summer blockbuster. You can't yeah. fucking beat that. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Yeah, yeah. It was, Everyone dude. Can. It was like in and out in three weeks. It had like a, I think, a three or four week lifespan, and it was gone. Of all um, of his movies, that was the one I was most genuinely concerned about because Tom Hanks. It, it probably cost them forty million just to get Tom Hanks involved. Right. Oh yeah, just and his name sells. He's got a, you know, Tom Hanks, and people will go to see that just to see Tom. Yeah. You would think, <laughs> and then um, yeah. uh, King Arthur. Yeah, King Arthur was number twenty two. Number twenty one was my fuck up Valerian which I'm very pissed about and then Snatch was at number 20 if Valerian would have performed even moderately you could have probably taken second place I probably could have but no it dicked me it just bit me over yeah and it was it was and it wasn't good I mean it didn't deserve to make any more money than it did it really didn't didn't. didn't it was it. it was it was pretty right it was pretty but the acting was lame the story was Lame and uh, okay. trite. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna make an assumption here. Would you compare Valerian to that uh, Jupiter's Jupiter ascending? Yes. Well, no, okay. it wasn't as no. bad as Jupiter ascending. I would say Jupiter oh, ascending. Really? Yeah, Jupiter ascend, dude. Jupiter ascending is a fucking turd pile on fire. This was just a turd <laughs> pile. They hadn't actually set it on fire, but Jupiter ascending. But I could get four in it at least, dude. What I couldn't. Is- Dude, I couldn't get through fucking 15 minutes of Jupiter Ascending. It was that bad. I hated really? it. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. I, I was like in it. I'm just like, ugh, this sucks. It was Magic Mike. I'm sorry. I always confuse Magic Mike and Thor sometimes. Oh, it had Magic Mike in it, though. What did? How about oh, C-tates? Jupiter Ascending. Uh, okay. I, I don't. Can't go wrong with Magic Mike, man. He's, you know. Yeah, you can. You put him in Jupiter <laughs> Ascending. You have oh. one of the you have you have the Wachowski whatever they are uh, yeah. make a movie yeah. and then <laughs> dude the Wachowski siblings people. yeah oh, sure um, all right so so that's that is the the list of movies so I'm gonna let's let's do this next let's let's do this next um, yeah there we go all right so let's go down through the earnings like like who what was high and low. Um, and I have these just these are just in they're no particular order they're just in the order that was in my um, that was in my chart so uh, I'm first I had my high was 35 uh, was, I'm sorry it was 332 million dollars Spider-Man Homecoming I got that for 35 quat Uh and my lowest uh, was 14 million it comes at night I got that for three Kafis, you uh, your highest earner was Guardians of the Galaxy for 390 uh, and Rough Night was your lowest at 17 oh. uh, Jack yeah, paid, paid too much for that one Jack, this is this is ridiculous. Your highest was the emoji movie. <laughs> yeah! Oh my god! Holy shit! Are you yes. kidding? I mean, and, I mean, good job, Jack. That's your the best. Lowest. That's the best decision I made in six months. Yeah, emoji and the, movie. And this is what's ridiculous. Your lowest was Dark Tower. Like your lowest yeah. was Dark Tower. 
I thought for sure it was for Idris Elba and, yeah. and that's uh and uh, Stephen King wrote it and it's yeah. got guns and oh I, I have no it's idea why that McConaughey. No, all I right, all dude. Right, all right. Dude, I think the way, yeah, exactly. I think the way the draft was, I was looking to try and get the Dark Tower too, and I think I screwed up and yeah. spent too much money on something. So I, I wanted it too. I, it was a safe bet. That's I mean, totally it's weird. It's totally yeah. weird. Um, really all right, so Gogs, your your highest was the Fate of the Furious at two hundred twenty six million. Your lowest was the Hitman's Bodyguard at seventy four million. That didn't do well. No, that's not bad. Seventy four million. That's I mean, not horrible. You know, not for that. I have the highest lowest. Yes, you had the highest uh, lowest. It's, the Hitman's Bodyguard is on my one watch list. Yes, mine uh, too. as well as Baby Driver. Uh, yep. I'm actually a little embarrassed I haven't seen it yet. I have been told by many people it was an excellent movie. Hey, you like uh, driver porn movies, so you know. That's what's Baby right. Driver about? Is that about Baby the Driver? What's a Baby yeah. Driver? Baby Driver is about it's it's um I not like not to oversell it, but I put it. I'm literally sold on this movie. It's it it's on the level of. Um, the professional and drive it's a classic somebody's in the life and they want to get out it's a heist movie yeah. driving movie it's got heart it's like there is a the opening sequence with the uh i think they have a custom wrx that's just rear wheel drive that is just fucking bananas like that movie is it's all about this kid who basically gets roped into being a getaway driver and he's super fucking good at it. And he's he just, got very bad uh, hearing. He can't hear, or not, not bad hearing, but he's got t tinnitus or tinnitus. Got, yeah, he was, he was in an accident when he was a kid. He's got tinnitus. So he listens to music. Like music plays a huge role in this thing. Yeah. It's kind of almost like Hudson Hawk in that regard. And he, I'm, I mean that like the nicest way possible. Yeah. But then he, like, <laughs> he, he's, um, he's in this life and he's just desperately trying to get out. Yeah. And he basically has to like, work his way out of his situation and then things kind of take a swerve. It is real fucking good. Okay. Wow. All right. Yeah. So, um, so, so Myler, he, uh, he, his highest was wonder woman 411 and the circle of 20. Now I do a fun thing here. It's, <laughs> I call it the, the return on investment. So this has to do with how many quat lose you spent on it and how much money it earned. So what this is, is this is how much did you make per quat loo? How good was your spending? Um, so my my high one was Spider Man Homecoming. I bought it for thirty five quatlus. I made three hundred thirty two million. I made nine point five million per quatlu on that. Not bad. Not wow. bad. Not bad. Uh, it's not it's not great. It's nowhere near anywhere near the highest on here. So uh, my low was uh, I got the Mummy for fifteen quatlus, uh, and I heard that was a shit show. Uh, it made eighty million. I made five point three million per quatlu on that. Mike, holy shit! I'm just yeah. seeing this part for the first time. Yeah. Mike, your high oh. was Dunkirk. <laughs> you bought it for eleven quat lus. Yeah. It made 186 million. You made 16.9 million per quat lu on that. I, yeah. really, I really wanted to see that. Movie that's, that's a good I one. Really wanted to see that movie. That's a not good purchase. Even, not 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 even having a slightest desire to want to see it. All right, so your lowest, <laughs> so your shittiest buy was Rough Night. Now, you only paid six Quatlu for it, but it only made 17. So you made 2.8 million per Quatlu, and that is the, the lowest return. Yeah, that's so the lowest the highest, return. I have the highest return and no. the lowest return. Do you? So no, you do, you not, do not have. You no. don't have the highest return. I'm getting to that. Uh, Jack, you had. Uh, you had yeah. Baywatch. You got that for seven quat lus. You made fifty eight yeah. million. You got eight point yeah. three million per quat lu on that. Goodbye. Mm. Uh, Dark Tower fucked you though because you bought it for seventeen quat lu. Uh, it brought in fifty million, two point nine million per quat lu. Uh, so, so Mike, you actually, yeah, you have the lowest. But then Gogs, yeah. Gogs, wow, Gogs, he Whoa. got Hitman's Bodyguard for yeah. two quat lu. Oh, yeah. Because at that two. time. Nobody knew what the fuck that movie was about. Right. Well, we didn't know because we hadn't seen any previews. Or so yeah. he made seventy-four million off that thirty-seven million per quatlu. Yes. Fantastic buy. Oh, wow. Good return. Like, Good return. Class, yeah. Nice. Uh, your low though, you spent twenty-five quatlu on Baby Driver. Even though it was a good movie and it brought in one hundred seven million, that was your low. Only brought in four point three. I would have my position on that. You okay? 
That was the last pick in the draft. I yeah. shot my load sure, to clear sure. my balance. Yeah, fair enough, fair enough, fair <laughs> enough. Yeah, fair happens. enough. It happens. So, that does happen. So uh, it happens to everybody. Uh, so Myler, his biggest return, no fucking shocker, Wonder Woman. He got that for 28 quads. I can't believe we let it go for 28. Mm. No uh, one saw it coming. Didn't yeah, know. I know, right? Didn't know. He got 14 million, 14.7 million per Quatlu for Wonder Woman. His low was Cars 3. He spent 31 Quatlu on that. Mm. It brought in 152 million. He got it for 4.9 million per so he, Quatlu. He overspent, but it, it still did him did him good. Yeah, he still he still made out okay. Did Mike oh. Myler win? Yes, did he, he did. He won, right? Yes, uh, he did. I couldn't remember. I think he mentioned it once. I wasn't sure. Yeah, he might have <laughs> He might have bragged once. And you know what's funny? I I told him I told him this weekend. I said, "Hey, I'm, we're going to do the draft this weekend." He couldn't make it. It's a shame. That's why he's not here. It's not that he's not invited. It's not that we're we're fucking sour grapes in his ass. Uh, <laughs> he, he really he really couldn't make it, and he can't make it next week. And I didn't. I couldn't wait another two weeks. So he. Um, Clearly, he, I can I can see that there's not there's not enough room for him. So clearly, right. you, you yeah, there's not clearly. enough. Room for him. Hey, yeah, hey. Yeah. Right. So I have. I, I have an idea. I don't know how, how many years have you guys have done this. This is the first year I've been involved. Right. We we do this every year. It's been uh, what four about years? Year. Four, I think it's the yeah. fourth year. And sometimes we do one, two. I have one suggestion based on all this beautiful forensic statistical analysis you've done. Yeah. At the end, <laughs> so so part of the reason, like right, like I said, yeah. I shot my load at the end to get Baby Driver because I had I had money to spend. Who gives a shit? And I could outbid everybody else at that point. There was no reason to hold on to your quad lose. Right. Might I propose, and I'm outsider coming in. Okay. At the end of next year, however many quatlus you have left, mm -hmm. whatever your best return on investment was, you get that many quatlu. Like, 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 say I had five quatlus left. Right. I would get thirty-seven million times five tacked on to my total. Oh, okay. A reason to spend judiciously. Oh. Yeah, I like I it. I like because it. right now, all you guys that didn't, all you guys that were left with Quatlu's left over, didn't get well, it for it. Hey, let's do it yeah. this way. You know, what we could do we could have we could have a couple. We could come up with a couple kind of like awards. You know, fake. You know, virtual awards, and one of them would be our regular contest. You know, the one with the most money wins, right? But then another one would be the the uh, the the studious spender. Uh, winner, the guy, the person who was the best, you know, uh, best ROI. spender, right? Yeah. Your best ROI, and that's that's just as as that's the just fucking, as good. The Gordon it's Gecko just as important. Award. Yeah, yeah, the Gordon. Oh, perfect! <laughs> uh, you the man. That's the Gordon Gecko Award, right? Right. <laughs> Greed is good, right? <laughs> so, no, that's fantastic. Yeah, we can do that. We can do that, and we, you know, we do this. We do this a couple times a year, uh, sometimes like not not the last year I think because Star Wars: uh, The Force Awakens was coming out and we did not want to bring that into the mix because that was one of those we start talking we're like oh shit man that thing brings in a billion dollars it'll blow everybody whoever wins it is it's gonna doesn't matter what we all we could all have every it's other movie combined short. right right. So I, well, I know it we worked. talked about we, we talked about like being able to buy into percentages and I was like oh, I'm yeah. not doing that. that's too much that's too complicated. Well, we could also have an other option. Just, just as a side bet, yeah. Just, just, just run the same numbers for the worldwide totals, the internationals. Okay. All right. Just to see, like, and you can get like, you know, Mister Universe who gets, you know, because uh, everybody in Indonesia loved it, they come at night, so yeah. it made a trillion Indonesian. <laughs> so you get, you get the. the you're big in Indonesia award. Here you go. Right, right, right. <laughs> right. You get the Mister My... Baseball. My movie made 16 billion rupees. How much yeah. was that? That's about a million and a half. <laughs> Wait, what was that African country that Donald Trump just made up when he was Nambia. at the stage? Nambia. You got to get the Nambia Award for, uh, for overseas uh, <laughs> international sales. Yes. Yeah. Man, you, you guys should totally do something like this for movie the podcast. This this is like perfect. Like oh, we're not this organized, and we certainly couldn't do this progressive analysis. Like this is oh, we possess. Um, I like to say that we're all vision and no follow through, and we're not even that much vision. It's mostly <laughs> <Right>. just <laughs> like our schedule is haphazard. It's very uh, you know, we don't got like we don't charts fucking charts. I'm a, yeah, no, you know what it it's is. A lot, it's a lot like movie the gang bang. I think okay. would be a great way to describe it. There's, there's a lot of flailing and a lot of people trying to get in there. Yeah. You know what I mean? There's a, people show, people randomly show up at my house and maybe we get it on and maybe we don't. Right? That's yeah. Oh. 
right, all right, fair enough, fair enough. I, and I, I think I think the way you run this is phenomenal. I think this is such a cool fucking thing. Like, I, I oh, happy to be part of it. Thank you, thank you. Okay, hands yeah. up for Pete. Pete oh, does thank all you. the math because thank everyone you. else is retarded. So <laughs> let's let's give it up for Pete for coming up with this stuff. I mean, I, I remember sitting in statistics telling us about return on investment, but I was like doodling pot leaves. So I really <laughs> want to say, uh, well, this, put this all together. Well, this is this is the kind of shit, you know, like I have to do this stuff for work, right? So I have to do like, and it's boring shit for work. This is like me being able to take some of the shit that I do for work and actually do something fun with it. It's like, I learned how to do this thing and now I want to do something fucking fun with it <laughs> instead of mind numbing, you know, like, you Applied know, comparing physics. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. Applied work. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and it, I do it all. It's just, it's just done in Excel. It's just, you know, divide this by that and whatever. Um, but it, it's, it's oh, great. Just by that. It's, pretty, it's pretty great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Don't diminish your own accomplishments. Uh, yeah. They tell me that at work, too. They're just like, uh, today I was, we were talking about this one job we're working on, and I, I got stuck having to, like, make a change. And, um, and it turned out it was like the greatest thing ever. Like it was this really great thing that had happened. But the only reason I had to do it was because I fucked up something else and I was scrambling for a solution. And I said, oh, let's do that. And it turned out to be like, like awesome. And he's like, man, that was a really great decision you made. I was like, uh, that's kind of a mistake. He's like, no, sh- 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 sh. it was a great decision you made. I was like, yeah, great decision. Yeah. I, I planned great that accident. all along. Great right. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Like Bob Ross would say, hey, there's no, there's no. No mistakes, just happy little accidents. But right. Happy yeah, little you put a happy little tree right there where it needed right to be. There. Happy Pete, little mountain. Yep. Pete, you you may have come in third, but you're number one in our book. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, you know, Mike, um, we were talking about – I'm going to shit on you even after you just gave me a compliment. I'm, Thank you. I'm number two. <laughs> I'm always number two. No, I was, no, no, I was, I was going to say the Bob Ross thing reminded me of something that we didn't say before because we were talking about – in a couple of shows back, we were talking about uh, Rossifarians, right? And it yeah. made me think of you know people who follow you would be Trossifarians. <laughs> 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 just you know, sorry. Got sorry it. Everyone's got to have a, a a moniker. No, I they, I'm, they, I'm, they smoke I'm, bird shit. <laughs> I thought of that the other day, and I started laughing, and I've been laughing about it ever since. And now yeah, said, it, <laughs> those birds have been eating primo coffee grind, coffee beans. All right, so it's great coffee. That's, that's high quality guano right there. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Oh my God! Oh, all right. Well, so what did you guys think? I mean, just all in all, what did you th- I think this summer was pretty lame. Uh, you know, as summers go, as summer movies go, I thought there were some good ones, but I thought all in all, this summer was a little. Uh... I think that, uh, and you know, this is all. It could be me too, because I didn't really pitch in. I have a problem with Facebook, I, and and I know we're, this is really great because we're broadcasting on Facebook. I am such a Facebook bohemian. Like I am to Facebook what Jack is to computers. I don't know why. It's like it, it, it's like the, the it's that whole social thing where it's like I've got people on my Facebook. If you're watching this, I love you. Uh, it's not you, but other people who are on my Facebook who was like, if I post this, what are they gonna think? And well, if I'm worried about that, should I just? not friend them and oh with the politics and the this and the that oh it's such a pain in the ass sometimes so it's like sometimes i can see myself avoiding facebook now you know what i mean so Mm -hmm. that being said i just feel like it would be great and maybe i just need to get over myself and get on do we do this on facebook we need to have more of a forum where we can razz each other and have fun with this throughout the movie time you know what i mean and um I just feel like I know I didn't participate as much in that. I think maybe you guys did. I'm not sure. What... I think because Mike Myler spanked us so bad, it kind of took away any of my, yeah. you know what I mean, <laughs> my yeah, will to, uh, to make any kind of comments because I was just like, well, what am I going to pull... say? I got like $28. So, let me, you know, let me pull this just... up again. Yeah. Mike Myler takes over around week one, two, three, four. It's so small. I can't see it. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, about the ninth or 10th week he takes over and that's it. And he never leaves fucking first place. Um, and, and Mike, you took first, it was you and Myler. So you and Myler should have been yeah. the ones like, like bantering across to each other. Cause you two yeah. were fighting for first place for a while there. And the rest of us were just fucking eating your all's dirt. And, um, 
And so yeah. it was kind of hard for the rest of us to really get in there and like say anything. Um, but what do you, what do you guys think of the doing it random, like like pulling names out randomly? Because in years past, we we had a list that we went down and we actually did them in order. Like in April, this movie, you know, we did them in the order the movies came out. And then random. I'm I'm for random. I like the random because that way you can't plan, mm-hmm. you can't save up and plan. But then again, maybe maybe that's better. I, you know, I don't know. What Mm-mm. what do you think, Gogs? You're fresh to the. Let me ask Gogs because he's fresh to it. What what do you think? I liked I liked the random because you okay. could kind of you didn't know. I mean. If you know when it's coming, it's easier to kind of sit on it and game. Like, if you don't know what's next and you don't know when you're going to have, like, when you're targeting stuff, I like I like that better. Okay. And it's, and not only no, is I it random. It. Oh, yeah. Okay, good, good. It's it's random for me, too. It's like, to, like, even though I play it, I don't know either. I mix it up in a fucking bowl, so that way I can't even, you know, that way I can't cheat. Um. But yeah, I, I think it's fun. And yeah, trash talking though, Mike, trash talking, we have to do it on social media somehow because we have yeah. to have other people see it. So if it's not Facebook, I hate, dude, I hate Twitter. And Jack, I don't even think you like. I don't know what Twitter is, but I, I sent Mike Marler some very provocative um, uh, uh, postcards. So I'm hoping that maybe he'll read those in the next week or two and see my trash talk on these postcards and really, <laughs> really, really <laughs> stick it to him. Right. <laughs> I was like, welcome to Baltimore. What's this? Oh shit! You know what I mean? Like, so I agree. It has to be on social media because I don't. Can we go off topic for one second? Sure. Because you said Baltimore, Jack, and 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 talking trash about Baltimore, dude. Like, okay, so I talked to Ben Bishop. I saw him this weekend. His his message, he wasn't saying anything about Baltimore. He was talking about the con. He was unimpressed with the right. way Balticon was set up. I, I so, got you. So he wasn't talking shit. The other guys, though, fuck those other guys. I'm saying it right now. If you're friends with Ben Bishop, you talk shit about Baltimore, go fuck yourself right in your face. That's because, who I was aiming my venom at in that stream. Because yeah. I knew Ben it wasn't dumb enough to go into a town and say, hey, buy my shit. By the way, you're a bunch of idiots. You know right. what I mean? So I figured it was it was that other slap nuts that had never been there. Oh, I got robbed one time I went to Baltimore. Well, you're an idiot. Right. You know what I mean? Like, so, yeah. No, I, let me... Let me tell you why I got I'm so pissed. But so Mike, I see your face. You're like, what the fuck, man? This must have been some discussion, right? And <laughs> well, all I'm thinking is, don't trash Baltimore. We leave the Baltimore trashing hey, to the Baltimoreans. But That's if right. you live in Baltimore, you can say bad shit about it. You don't live here, go fuck yourself. But uh, <laughs> but Baltimore adjacent. Like, am I allowed? What am I allowed? Oh, you're good. You're yeah, good. You're good. good. You're good. Yeah. Now, now, this this one guy says he says he says fuck Baltimore. It sucks. There's nothing redeeming about it. There's no culture there or anything. And I'm like, are you kidding? What? Baltimore's nothing but culture. It's overflowing. Yeah. It's yeah. got too much. Quite too frankly. much culture. <laughs> That's what I'm just like. You, sir, have either never been here or you, you like you went to the Inner Harbor for five fucking minutes, right? Went to, went to Touristville. Right, you went to yeah. Tourisville and you don't know what Baltimore's about. And he's like, My car got broken into every time I went there. And then I, I post I said I said I said, Well, you know, if you're in any city, you don't leave anything expensive in your car. Yeah, idiot. what did you leave in there? Right. Yeah. What, what oh, yeah, the fuck? didn't he say something like I left my laptop in the car and somebody stole it? I was like, <laughs> They're gonna do that in fucking Wichita, Kansas too, motherfucker. It has right. nothing to do with Baltimore. <laughs> right. Welcome to Baltimore, <laughs> mine. Right. right. And he says, he says, oh, I guess because I had out of state tags and uh, and and what was it, um, uh, tinted windows that paints a target on my car. It's like, yes, it actually, well, yeah. yes, it does. No, yeah, what, paints a a on your, what paints a target on your car is a laptop on the seat mm-hmm. visible. Yeah, right. That's the target. Right. That would be. I, yeah. well, I live out in fucking Colombia. I don't leave shit on my seats in Colombia. Yeah, right. Yeah. Totally. Exactly. I, it's everywhere. Right. right. Yeah. Well, he also said something too. What? Um, what was the other stupid thing? Oh, he said that somebody stole his toiletries. Do you remember that? Hey, stole my, and I was like, my well, toiletries. <laughs> and, and I said, let me know next time you're in town. I need some toilet paper. I'll bug you <laughs> for some toiletries. You're such a little bitch. I couldn't stand that guy. Yeah. Right. So wait, just, no, wait. Who? Who is this fella? It just. It, it doesn't matter. Random some... guy on on Facebook that yeah. was right. Ben Bishop puts up this thing like, "Hey, I'm in Baltimore," and this guy's like, "Fuck Baltimore!" and just goes off. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> but there was like there was like three or f- I think it was like like three people that were just like Baltimore is the shittiest dump you know dump heap of the uh, you know of the yeah. world. Two we're not we're number three worst. Yeah. We're not the worst. Right. To be fair, I don't ever want to set foot in Detroit, no. but I've never been there. Right, so like right. 
I don't like, like I feel like there's people in Detroit they're like, oh Baltimore. And I'm sitting here in Baltimore, like, oh Detroit. Like I think I, Dude, I've been to Detroit, so I had to go up there for for a meeting for work one time. And uh I have some I have a couple friends that live up there and I and I stopped and visited them and then um and then after the this meeting was like three days long is with the army and stuff. So then like one of the other nights I went out with a bunch of guys who who live up there in Detroit. We went to a couple of really nice fucking beer like like brew houses and stuff. Dude, I I I thought Detroit was great. I yeah, had a I great heard, time I, there. I've heard Detroit's a good time. Like it's funny because yeah. you like you tell people like like you meet people from Virginia or wherever else. You know, like where you're from, like ah, you know, just outside of Baltimore. It's where I'm hanging, you know, hang out there, but whatever. Like Baltimore is scary. Uh, I'm like, oh, I, hear it all yes. I mean, like if there's parts of it that you, I grant you, you don't necessarily want to be in. No, but like like, but it's not. I don't. It's not. My parents think every time my parents are amazed that I don't come out of it with bullet holes every time I go in there to like get a fucking dinner. Like I love, all, I fucking love Baltimore. I have Baltimore. You wouldn't believe you wouldn't believe the seventy two my seventy two year old mother and the shit she says about Baltimore all the time. And she hasn't lived in this town in thirty five years, and she right. tells me stuff like you know she thinks I'm you know I'm in a gang or something, which isn't totally wrong, but <laughs> it's still like you know it's, it's not that bad. It really isn't. And I've been to some places like Cleveland, Ohio. Good God. You want to talk about nothing there? Oh, Cincinnati, yeah. Ohio, Dover, Delaware. Oh, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like there are some towns out there with nothing the fuck in them. So to North say that about Baltimore. is boring as fuck. Oh, yeah. Where's that? Lucky. York. Yeah. Yeah. York. You know what? Philly, though? Philly's good cool. Times. Good time. That's a good town. Philly oh, is my, one of my favorite places on earth. Yep. Yeah, I went to uh, so so I've been out to uh, was it Leesville, Louisiana, which is um, right outside of uh, Fort Polk, and um, you know, any of the towns around there, Le- Leesville or Deritter or whatever. Any of those. Oh my God! Talk about fucking wanting to. Oh, I can't believe those people don't just like suck bullets, you know? Because it's just it is sucks. I mean, like there is nothing there, you know. And you go in the Walmart there, and it it is it's an amazing, it's amazing experience. That's and that's where I'll hey, leave that. Yeah. You talk about that's like one of those places that's the people from Walmart. Yeah, yeah. City uh-huh, 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 yep. Mm, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. we got those in Carroll County though. They yeah. much. Sure, <laughs> sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, right. I went to I went to Huntsville, Alabama, one time. And I didn't know anything about Huntsville, Alabama. So I kept preparing myself for like Alabama. I was like, okay, we're going to see it. Here we go. Like, oh boy, like we're going on fucking safari. And then it's Bethesda. Like, it is like highfalutin. Like, it's all like, it's like the, I think the per capita income for like around there is like everyone there's a, everyone there is literally a rocket scientist. It's got anthropology. I was like, huh. I'm a little disappointed. <laughs> right. Like, I really wanted to see some like Alabama cousin fuckers, and what right. I'm getting is just normal, just GQ well, douchebag. You no, know, you got to go into the foothills of Virginia and West Virginia for that. Hey, I, I went. That's- hey, Cox, I got family there. You, you, we know, right? You, you're from. You got family from West Virginia. I got family from Elkins, West Virginia, from out in Bemis, West Virginia, where they have one bridge and people yeah. live in old school buses. I've got okay. family. <laughs> Hey, that's not for that's for yeah. real so so down down in southern uh southern west virginia there's an area oh. uh, a town called rupert which is near um lewis lewisburg mm-hmm. i don't know if you're familiar with that that part of that's it's where west virginia does the 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 dip it's yep. right in that yep. dip and it's Your in the mountains deep in west virginia yeah dude it's banjo country and the the town of rupert has uh has one stoplight still only one stoplight all, all, like ever since i was a kid still only one stoplight and the the where my aunt's farm is is or or was is it was up on this mountain called Big Mountain. That's the name of the mountain, Big Mountain. And the road that went up Big Mountain was Clever. Big Big Mountain Road. Yeah. And <laughs> it was it was some you western. Know what? Hard to fuck up that. Yeah, yeah. Um, and and the whole town. If you didn't work in one of the like four shops in town, you were either a coal miner or unemployed, unemployed, <laughs> or or a uh, a teacher in the school, or uh, what was the other one? Um, a woodsman. Uh, uh, a woodsman. Uh, you know what the a fuck woodsman. is it called? I can't think of it. Lumberjack. You know, you basically <laughs> like you cut trees down. Like yeah, that you was had it. me at woodsman. A woodsman. Or, or, maybe, yeah, I got a woodsman. or maybe a truck driver. Yeah. yeah, those are the jobs that were were available to you. I was in uh, in Pittsburgh, our everyone's favorite city, Pittsburgh, for a wedding about five years ago. And in the hotel room, they had no, there was nothing to eat. The mini bar was gone. We were starving. So the only thing open that late was was Walmart. So I went to a Walmart in Pittsburgh at like 
a little after midnight, maybe close to one. Wait. Holy shit. I will take Dundalk and Essex, the worst of the worst, to put them up against that any day of the week. It was really? unimaginable. Unimaginable. <laughs> I couldn't even believe. Unimaginable. I didn't even think I was in America anymore. I didn't even know where I was, but it was like, and it's and it's Pittsburgh. You know what I mean? It's a major city, and the, the Walmart there after midnight was like the fucking cantina bar in Star Wars. <laughs> But like meets NASCAR, like it was just was, insane. like you know what I mean. It was insane. Did it have a sign outside that said Ripley's Believe It or Not yeah. and like charged yeah. you to get in? <laughs> no, but I they did have a veterinary clinic inside a Walmart, which I've never seen before, <laughs> as well wow. as a McDonald's. And something about that just made it so unsettling to me that there's a veterinary clinic and a McDonald's within the same building. It's like, like gross. Just figuring Dan in the modal nodes, just wearing Dale Jr. gear, just walking around. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's the McBoyles. I swear I saw every one of the McBoyles on, on there. It was, it was, it was, oh, it was insane. There were, there were guys just lounging around in like, like, uh, robes and slippers and stuff. It was insane. I wish I, I wish I would have taken photos, but I was scared for my life. <laughs> oh, I really That's wish fun. I would have. <laughs> Yeah, there's this green stuff in the corner that's glowing that people walk through, you know, and who knows what comes of their children. And God yeah. damn. And that was in a Philly. Myth. You're saying, wait a minute, you were saying that was in Philly? No, or that was in Pittsburgh. 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 Big difference. Big difference. Yeah, but still, Pittsburgh's still like, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a big city. It's a fairly big city. It's a major city. Yeah. yeah. It's a major city. But, and from mm. being from Baltimore and, and knowing what to expect, I was blown away. Like I, I had no idea what I, and there was a lot of very aggressive Bible shirts. There was a lot of people that was like, <laughs> shirts that like you are going to L and I'd be like, where do you even buy that shirt? You know what I mean? Like, like cause I really it. want one. <laughs> I know I want one to be real bad. And, and so like really aggressive Bible shirts. A lot of NASCAR stuff. There was, it was a lot of, uh, did you know the Tasmanian what's devil? What's an aggressive mm-hmm. Bible shirt? Like, really aggressive. Like, hey, fuck nuts. You either believe this shit or you're going to burn forever. Like, that kind of, you know what I mean? Like, really like, aggressive. Like, 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 a, like, a, like a tap out shirt, but with Jesus. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. Like a Jesus tap out. Like, believe in God or you're done, motherfucker. Right. Like, those right. kind of, like, I'm right. serious. You go to hell, you die. Like a, like a tap <laughs> yeah, up. Yeah, exactly. Right. right. <laughs> tap up. Right. <laughs> <Tap up. laughs> you gotta make hey the gods there's your idea cross out mm. instead of tap out cross out cross out <laughs> damn <laughs> nice 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 all right so you know uh so jack mike and i have been having a hard time figuring out where the mythwits are going and, and what the mythwits kind of is in a way so we're gonna Ooh, just want to give it up well, no, no. We want to. We want to give everybody. Oh, a little... enthusiasm for that. Look at that. He was like, oh, was like, it, was like, it was like dramatic. I was like, Ooh, no, like, no, 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 no. It's, it's it's nothing. It's it's nothing dramatic. We just got to figure some shit out. I mean, like you know, we got to get our numbers up. We got to figure out what's going on. So we're just so everyone knows if they're watching this, we're gonna take a little bit of a break. We're gonna be off for a little bit uh, while we figure out what what the fuck we're doing. Um, <laughs> You know, because I think some of the stuff, like, I, you know, I've been talking to other people trying to get their opinions on, you know, as they say, hey, look, we, you know, some of these videos, we have like six people watching, you know, six views. And uh, every once in a while, you know, my podcast is like 11 listeners, you know, I'm like, you know, and I'm just just wondering what that is. And I've talked to some people, I've put some feelers out, uh, you know, so I got some ideas, you know, people, some people have told me they're like, hey, your show's a little too broad, you know, it's like, you talk about comics and movies and science and you talk about every fucking thing and you have guests on from all over the place. It's like they're all interesting and stuff, but, you know, listeners come on, like, maybe you want to laser focus a little bit more on what, what you know, what it is you talk about. And then, you know, and then Mike and Jack and I have been talking about, like, you know, are we more serious? Are we goofy? You know, if we're too goofy, then serious guests won't take us serious. But if we're too serious, then we don't have any fun and we don't like doing the show, you know. It's kind of like I'm a fuck up that serious guest demographic. I'm not. Yeah, no, 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 no. Exactly. I'm. I'm just saying that. that... God, you weren't labeled as a serious guest. No, no, no. no, Trust no, 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 no. But I mean, like, when you can't get you know uh, uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson on here because I made fart jokes, that's not helpful. Right. (laughs) Right. So he said he wouldn't come on because of you. 
So, th- so there God. are some things we have to decide. Like, are are you know, are we gonna do serious shit? Are we gonna stay goofy and tell fart jokes? Um, it's just, it's we've had all kinds of discussion. We've been all over the place with it. Some of it's been a little heated at times. Um, so, you know. Well, just air our dirty laundry. That's yeah, okay. It's fine, dude. It's fine. It's, these are our fans. I'm I'm, I'm going to ask people for input. I'm asking anyone who would watch this to please give us input. Give us your thoughts. You right. know, you you can message us, private message us on Facebook if you want, or you can you can email us at mythwits at gmail dot com, or you can make a post live, whatever. I don't care. Just the Twitters. Twitter. If you have an opinion on what you think about our show or what you think where you think we should go or what would make you happier or whatever well, let us know because uh, we're going to be Peter, working we on, on it are we on the snapple chat uh we are not, not on, on snapple snapple chat. chat we're not on snapple not chat on snapple and snapple i chat. i ref, i fucking refuse <laughs> snapchat fuck snapchat in its face because well sorry <laughs> snapple chatters yeah sorry i'm gonna isolate you if you don't like our I show because I yeah because no we're old yeah. no yeah. idea because you know why? Because we're not 12, okay? So fuck Snapchat. <laughs> Maybe we need to do this show on Snapchat. There'll oh, be God. no record of it. Oh, God. <laughs> Gone in an hour. We can right. say whatever we want. Right. I, I, applaud you, I applaud you for reaching out to your, your fans and your audience, though, because one of the hallmarks of Movie the Podcast is – we don't give a shit about anyone who listens, so this is nice. It's nice to see that people care. Well, here's the thing. If we put a lot of work into this show and it's like if there's not going to be a lot of audience, like if we're only going to have 20 people watch the show or whatever, I'm not going to put that much work into it. We'll just do a fucking Google Hangout or whatever. Uh, or maybe we'll just record it over Hangouts and, and just do a podcast. Of it. Right, right. If only like... 20 people are going to ever watch a show ever. Fuck it. I ain't doing any work on it. We'll just record that shit and throw it up. They'll like it or they won't. They're hardcore I mean, fans. And if we make that decision, that's fine. Cause we can always revisit it later. If we build yeah. up a, our fan base and people are like, Oh man, you should do this live. And we did do it live. You fuckers. But yeah, right. yeah, fine, yeah. Fine. Right, fine. Can, but do it again. But, but those are all things we have to talk about. I just feel like we're pouring a lot of energy into something and it's not getting a lot of return. So anyway, that's all just behind the scenes style. I just, I just want to let people know that if they don't see us for, uh, you know, a couple months or whatever, it doesn't mean we're gone. It just means we're retooling. Couple months. I don't, I'm just saying, break. Are I we seeing don't, other people during this? Is there going to be, there might be other people. Seeing what, other podcasts. What does this mean, Pete? What does right. this mean? Yeah, I, I don't, <laughs> I don't know. That's up, that's up to the three of us to figure Can out. Can you send me like a folded little letter that I'd have to open up and say, is it checkbox? Is there a checkbox yeah. on it? You know. I think what Pete's saying is, the three of us are going to have to go out in the woods, smoke some peyote, and see our uh, right. spirit animal. Right. Oh, right. I'm down with that. Let's, it's like, haven't yeah. you ever, haven't you ever had one of those breakups where you're like, well, how long is this going to be? I don't know. We'll have to see. <laughs> <laughs> Can I call you? Can I call? I, I don't know. I think we need some time apart. <laughs> What about next Monday? Right. <laughs> what will I do? I'm gonna stand in front of my computer and drink beer and right. I don't know. Right, oh, and right. just for the record, I, I we're gonna go out and Mike's gonna smoke peyote and Pete and I are gonna eat it and we're gonna see what happens. Oh I God! That, uh, yeah, I can't it, imagine. I was wondering what the proper way to ingest peyote was. I, I, I don't to think it. it's smoking it. No, <laughs> Seriously, don't, no, don't, don't, no, no. I don't, don't think. What you guys, what Jack and and Mike don't realize is Pete has found a younger, sexier internet show and <laughs> is trying to let you guys down. So. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, but that sexy show is just gonna fuck him real good a couple of times, then he'll be back for us. Hey, it's called Death. Hey, 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 look, to be, com- I will be completely honest. There is another podcast. I got to yes, get, you know, I'm not it. on it, but it. wait, 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 but I'm not on it. I've just got to get that one rolling. So uh-huh. yeah. no, I'm not, I, only, I, I only kissed her. I no, only kissed her. One of my, right. hey, one of my, one of my things that I'm changing, cause I, I used to be on that one and I was just like killing myself. I can remember this was last, uh, about a year ago where Keep I was like. I was like Cuba Death and Game School and Mythwits, yeah. and I was fucking killing myself. And one of the things I said was, I can't be on all these podcasts. Like, I can't fucking do it. It's too much. So one of the things that I need to do with them is get them rolling without me. Like, um, 
I'm going to be behind the scenes producing it, but not be on it because then that takes like another couple hours out of my time that I have to, you know, and I actually have a, an audio editor, uh, Laura Nicole, uh, Spencer, hey, you know, Laura. Her, right? so I, I, I'm paying her to, to do the audio edits on that. So it's not like I'm going to go do that podcast. I'm just going to get that fucking thing moving. Um, so, so there's, there's some other stuff I want to work on too, but, uh, you know, Mike and I and Jack will work it out. We'll be back soon. Um, and, and just follow us on Facebook. You'll, you know, we'll, we'll keep it up. I mean, we're not, but you're leaving us to go be a pimp. That's like the worst. Kind of. Kind you're leaving your, your, kind your, kind your of, yeah, goodly sure. wives to go pimp. Right. Well, yeah. You know, Hey, Hey, you know what? The goodly wives should have been gooder. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hey, That's true. Hey, variety is a spice of life. <clears throat> and you know, there might be some, you know, podcast sitting on that on that one, Mike. What do you think? Game school? Uh podcast. That's, that's sitting? Chad and Satin do that one. <laughs> See, you went there. I thought you went there, but I was like, what is he talking about? Yeah, that's there. That's Chad and Satin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, so well, obviously there'll be some <clears throat> podcast sitting. Yeah, yeah, MPD. absolutely. If you want to become part of a semi-regular, whatever we feel like doing a crappy movie podcast in my basement, you know, just hit me up. Oh, sure. Okay. Damn. Like, you know, hear that, guys? Like that. When you never, when you never, you get, just, you know, when we, whenever dates vary, weeks vary, themes. <laughs> right. He's been single for five minutes and he's already getting hit on. My God. Right. He's, he's like, how that works? He's like, you broke up with us in a restaurant. And the waiter just came over and hit on him. You know what I mean? Like, it's, it's, it's. Well, I know when I know when, I don't know I know when to hop on stuff, baby. I still say, I still say that we all, even Gog, should be in on this. We should watch a movie, a shitty movie from the '80s, and just watch it and do like and record us watching it. Ice Pirates. Ice Pirates. Okay, I haven't Ice seen Pirates. that in a long time. It's been a long, long time. It by a, it real by yeah. a. I mean, <laughs> you know, my favorite. Here's the thing: we could watch Flash Gordon, and I'll be its champion. And then you guys can shit on it, and I'll defend it the whole time. Well, I mean, that would be primo because I've never seen it. Oh, yeah, I seen it either. oh, oh God, that's it. Gogs, that's Flash Gordon doing. Friday. Come on, man, we got to do it. Flash. I'm, I mean, I'm not, I'm not opposed to sitting around and watching Flash Gordon. <laughs> I mean, oh there's, yeah, there's that one, and and I swear, to I have God, the 25th think... anniversary edition. <laughs> <laughs> of course you do. Of course I do. It's got the deleted scene. Right. It's got the, 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 <laughs> the last the, the, scene ever. It's got right. the part where he's just regular Gordon. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> Wait, what's his name? Sam. What's his face? What Sam Jones. Sam? Yeah, where Sam Jones was high and they couldn't put it in the movie, but you have that scene. What, Sam what's, Jones is like, hey, we need to come up with a regular name. Uh, Sam Jones. You know what I mean? Like, that's the exact. That's like checking into a hotel room with your mistress name. What, that's what's the worst. Fuck? What's fucked up is like I follow Orlina Multi is her name on uh, on Tumblr. She is the um, no Instagram. She is like one of the characters. She's she's Ming's daughter. Um, I know most of the actors in the fucking movie. Uh, of course like, you do. like Deep Deep Roy is in it, and he's the yeah, little deep. midget. He's the Deep little midget Roy. guy. Yeah, he's the little midget guy who's like her pet, and he's also in uh, Willy Wonka. He's all of the uh, the new the one with Johnny Depp. He's all of the Oompa Loompas. Um, yeah, I know way wow. too much about this shit. Yes, yes, you do. You are. A, I believe the term is fanboy. I am a fanboy. A fanboy. Oh, and, and Mike and- hey, Gox, Mike can provide you with a uh, with an audio edit if he ever puts it together of all of my Flash Gordon moments. Oh. Fanboyisms, wow. yeah. I have my fanboyisms, yeah. Like, I'd be at a convention talking Flash Gordon with somebody, and Michael secretly record it with his phone, and like catches me in the midst of 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 fanboying with just in the throes, the of, throes of it, yeah, yeah. rolling around yeah. in it. <laughs> oh yeah. Like making... so, we could totally do that. That could be like a, like when the show is over, you could just throw that on the end of the podcast. <laughs> You're making like angels, like like. Like, what do you call uh, it? Flash, Flash Gordon, Gordon Angel. Angels. Uh, uh, <laughs> I love. Minute, you're, making, hey. you're making Flash Gordon Angels in some sort of pile of Gordon. Yes, like, yes, pile. Gordon. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, and look, yeah. here's the here's the funny thing. I know it's a shitty movie. I agree. I think it's it it is the it's a shitty '80s movie. movies, but it's the best shitty '80s movie ever made. People people would argue, and I've had this debate. And I'll I will go to the mat with anybody on this. That 
Big Trouble in Little China is a bad film. No, I don't it know isn't. No, no, it is not. No. It's an it awesome bad film. It's no, yeah, it, it is, no. it is along the same it lines. Is, it is the greatest film ever made. It's but, a fantastic film. <laughs> but, the greatest film ever made. I, I have. It's got everything. It's got everything. You everything. Want. It's got, yes. It's got ninjas. It's got magic. It's got guns. It's got sexy Kim Cattrall. Doesn't it's it? Got, it's got Kurt Russell. Kurt it, Russell's a fucking god. Isn't that the one that has Mace? Right. I know Deo. What is Deo? The company that makes Mace. Shh. Wasn't that, that in not, that one? No, no not that's not in that. No, no. Not at what all. That from? What movie was that from? That's a fever dream you had in 1987. Right. But, oh, no, it's, got a, it's got a scene with me and Jack after drinking this tea going, hey, man, I feel pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> Let's smoke some peyote. Right. <laughs> I appreciate I appreciate the pack. Like, I'm, I'm self-aware of the fact that people do not like Big Trouble Little China. I, well, they're wrong. They are wrong. But wrong. I appreciate your passion for Flash Gordon because yes. I, I feel the same. I can – some things are just too perfect. Yeah. Oh, God. Yes. I got something for you. Hang on one second. Okay. Oh, I thought it was just going to show me his hog. I was like, well, oh, here, shit. Here, here, here I got go. something to show everybody too. Hold on. I got – oh. Talk, talk oh, Mike. No. I got a magic prize for Gogs. Uh -oh. This came in loot crate <laughs> when immediately I saw it. And yeah. it's a, uh, I don't know if you can see this so okay. well. Oh, oh, Hold on a minute, let me put it up. Okay. Oh. Wait a minute, wait, I can't, wait. Jack, say oh. something so it focuses on you. Hey, look at Jack, this. Say... It's an oh, alien. My God. alien. It's the aliens. Yeah. With him, you can see the guy impaled there. Bishop. And then it's called. It's Bishop. Yeah, it's Queen Takes Bishop. Bishop. Is the oh, name of this title. Yeah. Nice. 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 And it's a little figurine with uh, him getting impaled. Oh, that's that fantastic. So amazing. Oh, I love it. That's probably I the best this, loot crate like, oh, thing you've ever gotten. Probably. It's one of the cooler things, but I, yeah. Alien, cool stuff. Aliens is Aliens is in my top five movies. It might right. it might crest the top three. Like oh, yeah. Absolutely. It's like Big Trouble in China, The Empire Strikes Back, Aliens. Like, those are... Yeah. yeah. My, uh, I can't so be... I saw TJ this weekend at Comic-Con, and I actually bought... All right. I bought... Oh, you bought his dude. That's a. I like that dude a lot. I do too, uh, man. I had to have it. What? You want to see it again, Mike? Hold on. Sorry. Yeah, hold it down That's because your the glare is really bad. Sorry. All I see is the porn on your computer. Can you see it? There we oh, go. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not bad. Not bad. As long as, long as we're plugging my boy's shit, stand by. Oh right, yeah. So I mean, I, I saw Danny that. And I, was, plug shit. and I was like, oh fuck, I gotta have. I, I that thing is awesome. I gotta have that. He's like, I was like, how much, yeah. TJ? He's like, he's like, ah. Oh, for you, thirty bucks. I was like, "Get the fuck out of here! Take my money!" I mean, come on, man. <laughs> thirty bucks for an original painting? Fuck, killing me. Yeah. I would have paid him double so for I, that. So I've been, I've been commissioning TJ to make me super obscure movie reference paintings that only right? people, basically only true fans would ever get. So oh, no, I'm scared, this, but intrigued. This, this, this first one's a little easy, if you can see it. Oh, that's over the top. Incorrect. No, oh, is it? This is from when I'm... this is when Dylan and Dutch Predator see each other in Predator. Okay, all right. Oh shit. <laughs> that is obscure. Wow. That's, that's the Dylan, you son of a bitch. And then this yep. one, just to, to to harken on to what we just talked about. This, for those of you not in the know. That's is that Lopan? This is the pattern. That is on Jack Burton's tank top in Big Trouble in Little China. Okay. All right. <laughs> wow. Wait a minute. Is that, did, did TJ paint his own face in that? Look at that again. It looks. Do you see TJ's face in there? There's just enough. There's a little bit of TJ. There's a little there. bit of TJ. Do you yeah, see that, Jack? Yeah. 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 I see that. But this is yeah. like, so I've got him like, I've got a bunch of other just <laughs> really just obscure ideas. All right. I, like, I, I want to hear these obscure ideas quickly. Come on. Yo, here we go. So I'm having him paint. I'm waiting for him to complete it. Um, Hudson, Bill Paxton's character from Aliens, he's just going to paint me a canvas of just his body armor because it's very distinct and it's got like patches and like like uh, Born to Die and all sorts of fun shit on there. And I've been trying to figure out what like the most obscure um, Empire Strikes Back reference I could get him to paint would be. And so far, I, I I don't know if he's gonna pull the trigger on yet. I've landed on when um uh the guy from Cheers is looking through the looking through the fucking binoculars at the adats coming, 
It's kind of yeah. like blue and wavy and shit. Like you see him kind of yeah. coming through the snow. Yeah. That's kind of that's kind of the level of obscure I'm looking for. What about like, what uh, a, what about when that that droid <laughs> that droid is upside down and they're burning his feet in that room? Oh, that's in Return of the Jedi. Is that Return yeah, of the Jedi? Yeah, that's that's the pleasure Jedi. barge. That's when. Damn it! Uh, okay, you're right. You're right. You're right. Yeah. Fuck. Right. Yeah. Like so, I'm trying Damn to think. I, I like uh, in 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 Empire. Your your options are there's so much iconic shit in Empire that you really really got. It. I, 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 the other the other thought was the targeting when they're targeting the shield generator from the ad. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah that's a good one. Yeah, yeah. That's another one that I could they, that, that you just Ooh. see that. Hey, you but, know what be a good one? I if you had one. like if you one. had like that the tauntaun on its side split open with Luke in it, but you wouldn't tell anybody what it is. It would just look kind of like just a mess. Like animal? I, I right. don't eat that. Yeah. What about the famous that. picture of the guy who was just on staff when they were shooting this and he's carrying a ice cream maker? Yeah. Through, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? That famous picture of the guy holding the ice cream maker? You know what I'm talking about? Yes, there's an ice cream maker guy. Yeah, yeah. There's a guy who was just on staff, and they wanted to when they were, when all the shits going down in Cloud City, and he just they gave him an ice cream maker with some doodads on it to look futuristic, and he's just running down the hall with an ice cream maker. I'm, I'll send you the picture. It's That's hilarious. Not, I was thinking about yeah. maybe just a, just a picture of what you remember when Lando commands Lobot to yes yeah, and he's kind of eyes. It's just like that picture of Lobot. Like I was yeah. thinking about that maybe. Hey, I was also yeah. thinking, so Jack, let, just, let's go back to last week. I mentioned Lobot in the show, and nobody knew who it was. But Gogs knows who Lobot is. Of course, I know. Yeah, well, now that you're breaking up with us, we like Gogs better now. So oh. step off. <laughs> How about that? So we're about, laughing at Gogs jokes now. How yeah, about that? Gonna... <laughs> now we're now we're laughing at Gogs jokes, and we're he, all in his shit. So there he, you go. He, he does have more hair yeah. than me. Uh, I look like I look like a teenage werewolf right now. <laughs> well, yeah, you do. Things are I'm shaggy, but yeah, that's that's sexy that teenage is, werewolf. Well, I mean, what name non sexy teenage werewolf? But like, just <laughs> uh, 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 what's his name? <laughs> the dude who played what, Teen Wolf. What's his name? Uh, oh, Michael J. J. Fox. J. Fox. J. Fox. Oh, come on. Oh, he was sexy as hell. Alex P. Keaton. Not yeah. Sexy. yeah. No. Not sexy. A lot of things I would describe him as, but. Sexy, not on the list. Well, if you can think of good on the list, empire, everything's a good empire, just imagery that's not like super on the fucking nose. Yeah, that's what I, I mean. Maybe just a lightsaber buried, half buried in a pile of snow. No, no? like mm, that might be too much, little, too obvious. Much, like a wampa arm cut off. That's a little much. That's a little. <laughs> or how about a minoc just sticking on the side? Just a minoc. Ooh, yeah. I like that. Yes, that's just not too. bad. Just a Minoc just on the fucking glass of the fountain? Yeah. 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 You know how it's uh, how about, out, it makes that noise? And they, oh, yeah. That, how yeah. about just a field full of dead sand people? Uh, they don't, but that, that doesn't seem doesn't that's happen. not in any of the movies. It's yeah, got to be like something the, that's in the movie. Yeah, because what's his face? Uh, uh, Attica killed them all. I got Get it. out. Get out. What? Get what out. Get name? out. <laughs> Get out. You're in the wrong fucking trilogy completely. Ass. It's, it's, look, it. I'm sorry. It's canon. Okay. Do not do you. not it's, mix. It's do canon. not no. Do not mix just, the prequels with Empire. Did I, I just cross the streams? You just yeah. shit on the one of the greatest I, movies of all time. Shit on the that, that, that being said, I do I do want to get a gaffy stick in real life. I don't know how to make yeah. one yet, but I would like to get one. There's, co- dude, awesome. I guarantee there's cosplay sites that'll tell you how to do it. Oh, yeah. yeah it's, probably, it's probably like yeah. a plunger and like a pipe wrench and like right. <laughs> <laughs> duct tape. And there you go. You got a gaffy stick. Well, if you want to be a Dalek, that. that's all, a pun- plunger is what you start with, right? Yeah. It's like the the Just holding your teeth and walk around and you're halfway there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right. Well, let's wrap this shit show up. Um, what? <laughs> well, Gogs, Gogs, you got a test, man, don't you? You got like a, you got a test tomorrow or something. Uh, don't I'm you coming up? Write a paper. I'm, I'm you? in school. I'm gonna write a paper. You're I'm good. fine. Okay, you good? You good? All right. Um, all right, everybody. Well, like I said, we're gonna be off for a little bit. Um, you know, you can nag us. Tell us what you think. Uh, Jack, Mike, and I will be working in the background to figure out. Uh, how we're going to uh, how we're going to proceed forward with our with our show and and get ratings and stuff. Uh, one of the things that came up and and we can we can even just mention this right now. Um, tell, tell us what you think of this. So Jack and I were talking um, 
you know, one of the uh, Jonathan, Jonathan Reinhardt mentioned, why don't we just do a so- show about science? You know, we just focus on science. And I was thinking, I had a thought today. What if, what if we did a show kind of like the way people like, um, kind of way people do uh, comic book fanboy stuff. If we did it like a, a science fanboy stuff, like we're not teaching anybody science. We're talking about science the way people talk about comic books and movies and stuff. So basically like the human element, like, like what does this mean? Like we're not going to talk, like not teach you, I'm not trying to teach anybody physics or anything like that, but like, okay, this thing happened in physical. What the fuck does that mean? You know, uh, but but have fun with it and like and then like also talk about it in movies like extend it to like movies and comics and all that shit too like you know you can talk about lightsabers and stuff and what that means sciencey what uh, it's just a thought that is just a thought that is like some of the stuff we need to think about because like we have authors on and I love having authors on but honestly there's no draw like we get like five people watch those and it's like well, you know I just think that you know Johannes Kepler and his paper on planetary motion I just that was the best paper in the world. I was like, like in the Kepler universe. You talking about like that? No, no, I'm not talking about like oh. that at all. Are not there at all. Not even all right. Are there, Back to are the there drawing board. Local Baltimore porn stars that you could have come <laughs> on right. and explain physics because I oh. think I think wow. that, that that is definitely that, crossing. I think I I know a few, but they are not professional. If you're looking for amateur porn stars. I know a few. Well, we yeah. Wait a minute. When you say not very interesting, Jack. Everybody, when you, unless when you say amateur porn star, do you mean hooker? Is that? No, is that what that's the, very different. That's sex okay. worker. Okay, I, I don't understand. What what would be like amateur? Is that like a like a cam girl? Like a slut. Okay, like, oh, okay, 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 okay. <laughs> I got gotcha, you. I got gotcha. you. In other words, you one's... having a sex tape or? <laughs> well, we could we could just play that. It's not very long though. Right. <laughs> It's called science sluts, and it's just right. people promiscuous folk go. talking about physical sciences. Like, like yes. this this person gave someone a hand job at a telephone booth one time, and they're going to explain Van der Waals forces. Okay, <laughs> that sounds like fun. <laughs> well, you know, I'd say yeah. that we could why throw why that up against that? the wall. Right. Why don't Why don't we just go pick up prostitutes in the city and watch movies with them and do a movie review show with? Random crackhead prostitutes that we pick up on the streets. Yeah. So we'll give them all the heroin and coke they want, all the drugs they want, and we'll right. just sit there and just get their hot takes on stuff as we watch right. movies. Right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say no on that one. I Your mean, mom's in the chat room. She says she likes it. Right. I don't <laughs> think she did. If if we were to do that, Jack, we have to do that on your couch downtown because uh, that's fine. <laughs> it already has scabies. Yeah, whatever, right. whatever, whatever. You're like whatever watching it going like. Uh, Whatever it's the most riddled with syphilis, that's the one you want right, to. Yeah. Right. And we can, Mike, we can make games. You can play like connect the track marks and see if it makes a picture. You know right. what I mean? Like, oh, this yeah. is a funny rabbit. You know, right. like you, there's all kinds of, it's, it's endless. Right. Just, hmm. just, just play, just play Trivial Pursuit. Just watch <laughs> that happen. But just see how. Oh, we can play A, B, and C. And we try and guess which hepatitis they have. Right. <laughs> 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 you know, we could do we could set up like a Jenga stack, right? And we could have them do the heroin lean and like yeah, they knock yeah. they knock the, the first person to knock the Jenga stack over. <laughs> hey, we're paying them. They gotta do way worse shit than what we're making them do, right? Right, right? yeah, absolutely. Well, okay, so put an ice pick on the top of the Jenga stack. Uh. <laughs> I'd say let's throw that up against the wall and see if it sticks, but there's no doubt it's going to stick. But yeah. in that case, I don't think it's a good thing. So yeah, no, no, it, no. I'm gonna, that, I'm gonna, we're not, Mike. We're not going to do that. So anyway, so we got to figure out what we're doing because it's like oh, it's been crazy. It's been back and forth. So we got to figure listen, it out. Listen, ladies, you get to keep all your clothes on. We still pay you, but we're just going to discuss Kant for. Uh, 20, 40 minutes. She says, I'm not talking about my cunt. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta buy this cunt. Yeah. <laughs> How much are you gonna pay for this I'm cunt? selling this cunt, bitch. Yeah. What you talking about? <laughs> See? It writes itself. These are yeah, it's, it's gold. Get into right. a corner. <laughs> yeah. And All right. dead air. Oh, oh yeah. right. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. There's not much. There's nowhere to go from there. Yeah, there except, wasn't any follow up, really. Yeah. So let's. Uh, no segue on the, out of that one. 
Let, let, let's do this.